Hey guys, and in today's video, it's going to be another how-to, and this one is going to be including the Vectra C. In today's one, we're going to be looking at how to replace the rear caliper. We're going to be replacing the driver side one, but this is applicable to both sides. Hopefully this helps you out. Stay tuned to see more. Right, so here we are. There's a couple of things I'm going to do before we start. Um, that is inside the car. What we're going to do is, as you can see, I've put it in gear. I'm going to let the handbrake off because obviously we're going to need to work on the handbrake. So you need that cable to be slack, otherwise it makes things a lot harder. Um, but before I did that, I also, I've got a brick this side underneath the wheel to chock it. And I've also got a pair of wheel chocks under the wheels, both, or both on the other side, just to stop it going anywhere. We're also on a flat place. I'd like to say, and I also made sure they wouldn't go anywhere in gear to start with. But this means we should have free rolling movement of this wheel on the back now. So here is what we're going to be replacing. And the reason is, that is incredibly, incredibly tight. Um, and it is actually seized, so hoping it won't be too much of an idiot or nasty thing to get off. But uh, yeah, we'll start off with the easy stuff first. I'll see if I can get the cable out, and then we go from there then. All right, as you can see, this is quite badly seized, and I cannot get it to move. Ideally, it'd be nice to get that all the way up so I could get this cable out of there, really. If I can get the free off of it. There we are. I think that's gone pretty good. As you can see, that should be springing back. It is seized solid, that's why we're changing this one. Alright, now with that bond back, what we can do now, look, pull this one out a little bit with a pair of pliers, and then round like that then. And the new one, this should be all freeze. We should be able to bend it back, hook this in, and everything be okay then. But now all we need to do is get this free out of there. Oh, there we are. That was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> and that's it. And that's how you undo the cable. The next thing we're going to be doing is this bit down here, which is the brake line. But what actually, what I might do, leave that till last so I can just put the new caliper straight onto it so I don't spill too much on my driveway. The next thing I'm going to do is start getting ready to take the caliper itself off, which is very similar to if you're changing your pads. What I'm going to do first is get this spring clip off. And I would recommend just using a little screwdriver using force like that just wiggle it them out like that it saves you possibly bending them and this top one is a bit stuck if it is like your like yours wiggle it back and forth like that just because the thing the last thing you want to do is bend this to be honest because otherwise you've got to go find a new one then it's going to be these caps on the back here which are what conceal the two seven mil allen key bolts which hold this to the carrier so that's what we're going to be taking off next one thing I am going to do before I hit the 7mm with that is I'm going to grab, I believe that is a 13 or a 14mm um, banjo bolt there which holds this one in. I'm just going to see about getting that one loose before I take this one off. Um, just because it'll make it a lot better. I'm also going to double check to make sure you give me the right caliper. And yet that looks pretty bob on to me. Superb! It's actually a 13 mil. I wasn't sure because most of the Japanese stuff and everything, they don't run 13s on them, but as you can see, that's quite tight. So just doing that, I'm not gonna loosen it off too much because I don't want it to leak all fluid out everywhere, but I want it to be able to come off when I've got this off, the caliper itself. I've got a seven mil Allen key socket, but I see, of course, you could use a seven mil Allen key itself if you wanted to, but, it is a fair bit of force in your hands and it hurts if you use that, I find. <laughs> so I prefer using this.
when you take these ones out you want to make sure that they're free of rust and debris might be worth putting a bit of grease on them because this is what the caliper slides back and forth on and that's what I shall do with these ones they don't need cleaning up because they haven't got rust but I will grease them right I apologize um, I assumed that I was recording the last bit but you I actually didn't realize I wasn't um, as you can see what I've done is I have hooked the new caliper up to the flexi brake line there um, that's just to stop it leaking over the floor because you've got a bit of a leak that's mostly brake cleaner but that means I've taken the old one off that is all you've missed so far really um, oh, hopefully so what I'm gonna be doing next is I'm going to be fitting it back in with the seven mil allen bolts I'm gonna grease these up clean clean all that gunk off of them and uh, yeah hopefully it'll be a case of just hooking this one back on and away to go Factor. And because this is brand new, everything is already set, so you don't even need to wind the calipers back, which is just awesome. It makes life so much easier. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to bolt these on first, and then I'll, oh, actually, I'll grease those calip grease those pads. I'm going to clean and grease these. I'm going to bolt that one on, and then it'll be easier to put the cable in there, I believe. And don't pump out the brake pedal till you've done this. And that means I should be able to grab this one, pull it around like that. There we are. And that's that, like that. And there we go. That's it. Perfect. And what we'll do is tighten, tighten these bolts up. And then I'm going to go. We're going to bleed it through. If you'd like to see how the bleed breaks, check out our other videos. There we are guys, I hope that helps some of you out. If it did, then please let us know by hitting a like and subscribe below this video and uh, stay tuned for more content and more hints and tips coming on a multitude of different cars. Thank you for your support and I'll catch you in the next video.